Hi everyone, my name is John McNally. I'm part of the AEC digital transformation team at Pentagon Solutions. Um, so I've got a bit of a shorter video for you today um, to do with Dynamo for structure. So we've been asked on Revit structure courses a few times how to get the surface area of structural columns and beams. Um, mainly for paint or the likes of if you have your structural beams kind of galvanized or something before they go to site. Um, they need to know the meter squared coverage for each individual beam um, for costing reasons. So there is kind of long winded ways of doing that where you can take a paint tool and paint each face of a beam and then add that up together, get your cost for it that way. On a large project, that's pretty much near impossible. You're not going to sit there and give yourself a beam just for surface area. So the script that we put together, um, it'll take any beam, or in fact, it will take any element from a Revit project and give you the surface area. But we're going to concentrate on beams. So um, it will work for beams in a, sh in a system as well, which is what I want to demonstrate today. So if I click on a system, I will see that the beam type is regular timber, beam timber, 50 by 200. So I want to get the surface area for the number 50 by 200. So I want to get the surface area for that across the entire project. So what I need to do is go to my Manage tab and open up my Dynamo player. So I've already got that open with my script. So this one I've just called surface area of elements for paint. Um, so I have it defaulted to a different type of beam, but I'm going to actually swap that to the one that we looked at there, which is our rectangular timber. So it's going to spit it out to a spreadsheet. Um, I have a template already set up with element ID, family type, surface area, and my total surface area. So these are the parameters that I'm going to pull from Revit using the script. Um, sheet ID, so just my sheet number at the bottom. We don't need that one, it's just blank. I'll take that out in the meantime. So once I'm happy and I've selected my beam, I have set up my template and attached the sheet name. I can go ahead and run that script. So it'll take longer, that longer that the, uh, the bigger the project, but there we go. So we have roughly, let's have a look. So 107, so 106 beams in there of the family type, that's the same name across them all, the different surface area for the individual ones. The reason I wanted to keep the element ID in there was in case we do have to go back to Revit to look for it. Um, so we have our individual surface area and then this cell is just the sum of everything in the C column. So we now have our surface area in meters squared for the entire project for that type of beam so we can then put that against our cost um, we will roughly know kind of exactly what we need before it gets down to site uh, save a lot of money save a lot of guessing um, and a lot of time as well whenever you're trying to work out exact measurements but i hope you find this video useful um, keep an eye on youtube um, for more videos coming up soon don't forget to subscribe and check your notifications. Also on Twitter and LinkedIn, we'll be posting any videos there too. So if you like them, please give it a thumbs up. And we will see you next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, see you again.